The way you give instructions when your students are learning a new skill will have a huge impact on their success level with that skill going forward. And I know that sounds obvious, but I don't see a lot of teachers doing it, so... Hi, my name is Maddie Tarbox. I'm an evidence-based voice specialist, and this is our motor learning series where we're breaking down each of the stages of motor learning because singing is a motor skill. Today we're talking about the first stage of motor learning. This is the stage we refer to as the novice stage or the discovery stage where your student has just got a hold of a new skill. They need a lot of hand holding, but also a lot of repetition. So figuring out how to balance the timing and type of your feedback with how much they need to repeat the activity is paramount. A good guideline here is that you as the teacher should speak only when absolutely necessary. You do not have to tell the students everything you know. They will be overwhelmed. Instead, give directions like Siri. How much does Siri actually speak in order to tell you where you need to go? Even if you make a wrong turn, Siri will one direction at a time get you back on track. The more you talk, the less they learn. So let's all pull back our egos and talk a little less. Like in follow for stage two of motor learning. 